Hello, welcome to this again. So you guys seem to really like it when I install Windows 7. So what if I just installed Windows 7 like eight times in one video? So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm going to be installing every single version of Windows 7 on this computer. I'm gonna try dual booting them. If I run out of space, then I have another computer that I can switch to that can hopefully run Windows 7. And yeah, uh, <laughs> it's just installing, we're just gonna be installing Windows 7 a lot. All right, so up first we have Windows 7 Starter Edition. Kind of a dumb release, cause you know, it was, it was just Windows 7, but like without Arrow and a lot of other things, so like, Plot boot manager, I wanna boot off the USB. All right, Windows is loading files. All right, Windows 7. Also, all of these are gonna be 32-bit, cause uh, <laughs> for some reason, Windows 7 Starter Edition only came in 32-bit. Strange, but yeah. Should also make the installation go a whole lot faster, so I'm gonna do a custom thing so I can, you know, set up the partitions before installing the first OS. All right, so how many of these can I make? All right, yeah, we can only have three usable partitions, and according to my list, there is uh, six versions of Windows 7, so uh, we're gonna have to install three of them on this and then another three on a different computer. We'll just start off with this one. And now we're copying files. Let the games begin. All right, we're at the you know, account setup screen. Finalizing your settings. All right, Windows 7 starter. We're welcome. Turn on your desktop. All right. We're in. I honestly really like that wallpaper. I think that looks really cool. Windows 7 without arrow just looks gross. <laughs> I don't know, man. It just looks kind of odd. Oh, there's nothing here. There is nothing here. I will fix the screen resolution to just make it um, 1080p. There we go, now it's showing up properly. Now you can marvel at that um, cool looking background better. Do we have the funny music? Do, do we have sample music? We better. <laughs> oh heck yeah. It's a classic. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much the only notable thing about uh, Windows 7 uh, Starter Edition is, you know, it doesn't have arrow and it has a pretty neat looking background, honestly. And uh, unfortunately, Windows 7 Starter is the most notable uh, version of Windows 7, so uh, let's move to Home Basic. <laughs> Alright, so I have Windows 7 Home Basic on a USB stick now. I'm pretty sure Windows 7 Home Basic also didn't have Arrow. We'll see. All right, Windows 7 is loading files like it always does. You know, I'm hoping that it, you know, actually lets me install multiple versions of Windows 7 at once, because if it doesn't, then that would be quite the problem. Oh, well, doesn't that make things convenient? This, this ISO just has all of them. Okay, basic, premium, professional, ultimate, and then the 64-bit versions of those. Now, what this doesn't have is Windows 7 Enterprise. So, and the games continue. Setup is preparing your computer for first time use. Windows 7 Home Basic, heck yeah. Alright, preparing our desktop once again. Alright, so this one has the regular background, but no arrow it seems. And yeah, as I said earlier, um, you know, Windows 7 without arrow looks kinda bad. So, I mean, all the games are still here, we can play Purple Place. All right, on to Windows 7 Home Premium. <laughs> All right, Home Premium. All right, we continue. Man, that is quite the sight, just seeing three Windows 7s. I don't know which one's which. Uh, 
I think this is starter, this is basic, this is premium. I'm hoping that up is preparing. Cool. Heck yeah. As you can see, this one has arrow and an incorrect resolution. You see this one actually has a personalization thing. I'm gonna do landscapes. Very cool. This one has uh, more games than the last one, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> on to uh, the next one, and also the next computer, because I'm all out of space on this one. All right, I'm on a new computer now. This one is uh, significantly older, so uh, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't take an absolute age to install. Now, uh, the resolution's gonna be a bit wonky for a bit, because uh, this laptop's video output is uh, stupid and bad, and I don't like it. Like, this isn't being stretched by the monitor, this is just being stretched by the, <laughs> by the computer and then being sent out to VGA. Moving on to... Professional. All right, and we can't make any more new things. All right, so three more partitions, three more versions of Windows 7. It continues. All right, Windows 7 Professional on the really old computer which has no drivers. All right, uh, we're at the desktop. It does not look very good, but uh, we're here. Can we at least increase the screen resolution at all? Yeah, not great. <laughs> do we at least have audio drivers? No, we do not. Well, that's Windows 7 Professional. On to the next one, I guess. All right, so I got distracted for like two days. It is now the uh, night that I have to get this video finished and I'm not done filming, and I've not started editing either. Great, and plot bootloader crashed. Man. We gotta do ultimate, and then we gotta do enterprise, and then this whole thing's over. Bing bang, and then I uh, stop recording and turn on time lapse and then do other things for like 12 minutes. Oh hey, it's finalizing my settings. We're in, baby. Yeah, it's, you know, Windows 7 again. Just slightly more ultimate than usual. All right, on to Enterprise. All right, we're almost finished with this thing. I got Windows 7 Enterprise stuck on a USB stick. Woo! I'm currently editing the very video that you are watching right now. I am about, uh, 41 seconds into the video. You remember that part where I was installing Windows 7 Starter? And I went to Pop Plot Boot Manager? And I said, and I quote, Plot Boot Manager, I wanna boot off the USB. Alright, the final partition. All right, Windows 7 Enterprise, I'm just gonna dip, 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 dip. Thank you. It's finished. It is done. Boot off the hard drive, we have three versions of Windows 7 on one computer and then three versions of Windows 7 on the other computer. And that, is every single version of Windows 7. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. If you want to see more, then subscribe. And thank you to my channel members. Serenity, Scubus, GamerFox129, Richard Watterson, Sola, Sippy Cup, Andello, and I am Maurice. And with that, I'll be seeing you.